Hey kids, I'm back for another one, and by another one, I mean another bag of potato chips to review. We're sticking to Asia for now with several bags of miscellany that I've kicked to the end, and we're starting now a two-bag run, something a little different. This is a brand of potato chips I've never heard of from Taiwan, named Huayan Foods, and these I got at the Hong Kong supermarket here in Manhattan Chinatown. It's one of the last remaining uh, large Chinese supermarkets um, in Manhattan Chinatown, and I was in there buying light bulbs or some shit like that, and of course I went and I checked the snack section, and lo and behold, they had a brand of chips that I have not seen in any of these fancy import stores that I go to. So I had to buy it. And this is a flavor called Royal Cream Flavors, which doesn't say much, but then on the back, on the import sticker, the translation says that they're butter flavored. Doesn't sound very interesting. I do got another bag from this company, which I'm gonna get into tomorrow, but seeing how this is Royal Cream, I've decided to dress regally and creamily. And we're just gonna crack this shit the fuck open <clears throat> and see what this do. This is not a brand we see in America as far as I'm concerned. Gotta get the little fucking bitch scissors again because I'm gonna make a figure of this. It's got a kind of nice looking bag. So let's, hmm, something smells interesting. Wow. Almost, I'm getting more of like a confection smell than a potato chip smell. Is this gonna be another one of those fucking sweet bags of chips? I know when we had the honey butter, it took me a while to get used to it, but this time I wanna be a little bit more open-minded and give it a chance, but, oh, these smell horrible. There's a somewhat a note of like toffee or something like that. And then it just smells like preservatives. So average looking potato chip, nothing special. Nah, they're stale. That's the problem. Oh, fuck, fuck. Is there an expiration date on this? Well, whatever it was, it seems to be long past. So I'm going to try to ride out the rancid oil flavor and see if I can extract the actual flavor. Fuck, these are rotten. Fuck this shit. All right, this is out of here. Yeah, I can taste a little creamy butter vibe underneath the the gross stale flavor. Not that different than the Calbee honey butter chips, but without the honey. Therefore, it can go fuck itself. And I guess just with a fuck of it, then get this show moving. Because that, that ain't happening. As I got the other, other bag now from this company. Should I eat these now? Yeah, what the fuck? Actually, these are kind of growing on me, even though they're kind of stale. I'm taking my time today. I got so much shit going on, you wouldn't fucking believe it. I can't believe I'm just sitting here calmly eating fucking potato chips while the world around me is collapsing. You'll be hearing more about that soon. I got something. Something dramatic coming. Anyway, that is the most unremarkable shit I've ever had in my life. I'm gonna have to eat these just to mix this episode up. Still gonna make the thing, but make the figure, but whatever. Okay, here is another bag of chips from the same company, Huayan, and from Taiwan. And this is a bag of spicy oyster omelet flavor. Now, that's a lot. I've looked this up, 
and people say that this is a very unique and interesting fucking potato chip. So I hope it's worth it. I really hate muddying the waters here by doing two bags in one episode, but that was just so absolutely and completely inconsequential that it just, I don't want to bore you guys. So here we go. Oyster omelet spicing. They got the little festive little potato guy on there, sort of like probably can reuse the fucking Mr. Tato mold for that. So, all right, now this, they don't smell stale. So that's a good, that's a good sign. It's big, chunky, ridged chip, all kinds of colors and some green flecks. Oyster omelet. Whoa. All right. Something's going on. Mm. This more than makes up for that. I'm having a hard time pulling out the individual flavors. It's like, it's almost pointless to try to sort this out. It's spicy, it's seaweedy, a little umami. Yeast. Fish, fish sauce. Mm. There's some indistinct bowl of soup in the back with an egg yolk and some meat. Ah, it was fucking good. I don't think it tastes like anything. It's just like, it's just like a whole bunch of tastes. I get maybe that fake, that fake shrimp flavor that they use. I don't know. Huh, all right. I would never buy these again, but at least something's happening. So, all right. Those are the two entries from Hua Yan. First one was a yawn, second one is a wow. So make what you will of that. 